the shift in the Everglow zone is out of this world, but let's see what the B sides have to bring today. Oh, oh, love the flow of this. Shoo oh. off. The emotion, the power, and then it just explodes. <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Shannon. Today we're going to be reacting to Everglow's Colors and Back to Love. Now for Colors, we have a dance practice video because I was, well, I was looking for a lyric video for it, but then a dance practice video popped up because apparently they actually have a choreography and a dance practice video for it. So of course we're checking that one, uh, that one out instead of a uh, lyric video. For Back to Love, we do only have a lyric video. There was no kind of special video on the Everglow channel. So I'm just excited to check that out. I'm especially excited for Colors because of the dance practice to see, you know, well, well, it's got to be a song that kind of has some kind of choreography to it, some kind of dance to it. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. Let's get right into the first one. Colors. Okay. All right. A lot more upbeat. Very upbeat. Okay. Oh. Really dynamic dance track. I think the level changes. Constant level changes. Really high paced choreo. Oh, there you go. Okay. That reposition was so good. Right there. Ooh, all right. The Matrix. That was a cool center and back and forth right there. On the floor. We love floor choreos. It's very chilly to like choreography this. A lot of the moves are very chilly to like. Lovely vocals. Ooh, slick and unbeat. Dogger, this one. It's a little deeper. Rising. Hey. Oh, that's slick. Oh, that's. Okay, I'm actually. It's just a little rewind, but them moving to the side with one of the members situated definitely looks so good. Yo. Man, the chorus is so poppy. Hey, hey! Even grander moves. Oh, I don't know what that move was, but it looked cool. It's like from nature. Right, that was Everglow with Colors. What an incredible track. This one is a lot more aligned to what we're used to in terms of like Everglow title tracks. Albeit, this one feels a little bit more happy. I feel like there's always a gist of darkness in Everglow title tracks, but this one feels pretty darn happy. And I, I'm not sure if that's just the sound of it, the way that they are singing in choirs and, and kind of, well, it's kind of a cheerleading song. You know what I mean? They're, they're kind of singing in this bright way in choirs and, and, but still with a lot of power, still with a lot of pe pe people. 
a lot of personality behind it and that's super super cool the choreography as well matches the song incredibly well because it's got a little bit of cheerleader jest but it's also a little bit of just you know kind of it's normal like pop dance gist to it so it's kind of a, a mix of the two and that works really really well the chorus is incredible i feel like the chorus is such a a good and catchy pop chorus that it should just it should automatically just catch on and become like a like a challenge or something or, or become something that you want to cover on stage because it's so damn good i really really enjoy that chorus god damn but we've got more and more song to uh, to check out let's get right into back to love this is a little slower but it might have like yep. a little bit of that relaxed vibe to it What a, a parent vocal there from Mia. What a vocal showcase here. Nice chill rap and good transition back to the singing. Hey. Oh, it's just, this is amazing. I love just, this chill vibe. It's so good. Ooh, a nice rice. Let's just. Man, the course is so good. So catchy. Yo, doing that background vocal is so good. For that, especially here for this outro of the chorus. Goddamn! That was Everglow. Back to love. What? What a what a good album this is. Oh, well, a single is that? Would would a three song album still constitute as a single? Because really, some singles have four songs, but two of them are just instrumentals. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But damn, whatever it is, is it's good. It's so there. It's such a nice collection of songs. This one being a little bit more chill, the perfect song to end like an album off with because it's a little bit more chill. It's a little bit more relaxed. You listen to it and you just. You just kind of get a vibe to vibe off on for the rest of the day, you know, after you listen to this album. So that's super, super cool. A lot of vocal prowess again through through this song. I really love, I really love the vocal showcase just, that's just happened, especially here at the end where we get some of those ad-libs, some of those high notes in the background. We also have a rap 
that's, albeit very short, it's very well situated in the song, actually, despite the song being so relaxed. It works really well, and it actually transitions perfectly from the rap and back out into singing again. Would have loved the rap to probably be a line or two longer, just for it to make a little bit more of a presence, but it sounded incredible, and I love the transition once again. God damn, like, like these girls are killing it with this album, with this, with this release. But yeah, guys, that was Everglow's Colors Dance Practice video, and back to love. I gotta say, Everglow are going for a an interesting and very different trifecta for this one. We have, of course, uh, Zombie, which has a little, which is a little bit more of a horror song, a thriller song, an, an eerie song, which is kind of different. It's very, very different from the other title tracks. Then we have Colors, a little more akin to the normal standard Everglow title track, but a lot more happy, a lot more chilly to like, which again is a little bit of a an odd song to use. And then, of course, the last one, Back to Love, a Sunday drive. That's the weirdest trifecta I've probably heard as an album, but it works really, really well. All of the three songs are so damn good. Like, these are all three songs that I can see myself listen to every single day. Maybe a little bit apart from Zombie, because I feel like it's a little bit too eerie to be listening to when I'm already happy, because it will kind of scare me a bit. But incredible work here by Everglow. Let me know what you guys thought about Colors and Back to Love, and let me know which song is your favorite down in the comments below, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.